Good. Okay, you have oral cavity, teeth, hard palate, bony, soft palate, soft, okay? This is the uvula, which is actually an extension of the soft palate. You got the tongue, the lingual papillae, okay? We take out the tongue so that we can see the sublingual salivary gland, the submandibular gland, okay? And can we see the submandibular gland on the outer surface? Yes, you can. Right there, submandibular gland. And you have this one as well, the parotid gland. These are salivary glands. Okay. Then, go back to the mouth. Can I get the tongue, please? Okay. We put that back. You have the oral cavity, the oropharynx. Maybe I'll very quickly review the other parts of the pharynx, the, laryng the nasopharynx, and the laryngopharynx relocated right here. Now is a good time to go over to the other model. Okay, this one will show you the three parts of the pharynx much more clearly. Thank you. We got the nasopharynx, oral pharynx behind the oral cavity, and the laryngopharynx. Now, of the larynx, the only important thing that we need to know is this structure here, the epiglottis. It's an elastic cartilage that covers this hole right here, called the glottis, that enters into the trachea. It covers it when you're swallowing and eating, so that food doesn't go down this way. However, the food should be coming down this way, into the esophagus. Esophagus. Over here you have you have a thickening of the smooth muscle called the lower esophageal sphincter, also called the gastroesophageal sphincter or cardiac sphincter. So it has several different ways of calling it, whichever you feel most comfortable with. So, I like to call it lower esophageal sphincter. Then we go into the stomach. This first portion of the stomach here, this early entry portion here is called the cardiac region or cardias. Then you have the fundus of the stomach. The rugae, which are these ridges in the inner lining of the stomach. The body of the stomach is all of this. The lesser curvature, the greater curvature of the stomach. Then down here you have this funnel shaped portion. This whole funnel shaped portion of the stomach is called the pyloric region. Okay. The hole itself that leaves the pyloric region is called the pylorus. Around the hole, you have a thickening of another smooth muscle that forms another sphincter called the pyloric sphincter. Pyloric sphincter. And now we enter into the next portion of the, uh, of the digestive system, which is this part here, the first part of the small intestine called the duodenum or duodenum. It's all of this structure here that looks like letter C, C-shaped structure here. Let's take this off to see much more clearly. All of this here, including this portion here, all of this is the duodenum. Now, the duodenum and all parts of the small intestine will have these circular folds called plicae circularis, or you can call it circular folds. You can call it circular. circular folds or plicae circularis. Okay, this is the duodenum. You see something important happening at the duodenum. You have the entry of these several important ducts and tubes. What are these ducts? Well, we're going to have to lower this a little to see much more clearly the tubes. Okay. Okay, first you have, let's start up here. Uh, this is the liver with these little green colored structures here. They are the hepatic uh, ducts. Left hepatic duct for the left lobe of the liver, the right hepatic duct for the right lobe of the liver. They come together and form the common hepatic duct, this one right there. Now, the gallbladder is another important gland, or organ, I'm sorry, organ, and it has its own duct as well. This duct right there is called the cystic duct. Cystic duct. The cystic duct and the common hepatic duct come together and form this large duct 
that comes all the way down like this called the bile duct or common bile duct. So all of this here, this here, this here, this here is the common bile duct or bile duct. Now the bile duct joins up with this long duct here in the pancreas. This long duct is called the main pancreatic duct. So they join together. Bile duct and main pancreatic duct come together here and form the hepatopancreatic ampulla. That's this right here. Hepatopancreatic ampulla. Now around the ampulla, you have another thickening of smooth muscle there. A thickening of smooth muscle. And this is called the hepatopancreatic sphincter. They have names, for instance. The hepatopancreatic sphincter, uh, I believe it's called the sphincter of Odi. The hepatopancreatic ampulla is called the ampulla of Vater. But I think it's easier to learn the anatomical names. And finally, the little end of the hepatopancreatic ampulla right here, that little Vermiform appendix. Okay. Now this is the ascending colon. These bumps that you see on the surface of the colon. These bumps that you see here. These are called haustra. Okay. A little bit. This thin, long, little strip of smooth muscle, this is actually a strip of smooth muscle, it's called tenia coli. <coughs> this is your transverse colon, my descending colon, and then this final portion of the colon that curves like this, like a letter S, curves like this, this is the sigmoid colon, this curvy portion down here. Now, finally, the feces that's formed in the colon comes into this structure here called the rectum where feces is actually stored for a while okay until the person can release the feces okay this is the rectum the rectum then ends in this narrow portion here called the anal canal and the final portion of the anal canal is the anus the hole at the end okay now there is muscle down here at the distal portion of the rectum around the anal canal right here there's a thickening of two different muscles the first one is the inner muscle this is the uh, the internal anal sphincter the internal anal sphincter this is smooth muscle the outer one is this this is the outer or external anal sphincter and this one is skeletal muscle <coughs> therefore it's voluntarily controlled so you actually use two sphincters for defecation, for releasing feces. One is smooth muscle, which relaxes involuntarily. The other is the one that you relax voluntarily because it's skeletal muscle. And then feces is released. And we'll explain more about that in lecture. Okay? So, Professor, you said this Questions is the pancreas? About this? I think that's pretty much it. Perfect. This is the pancreas. No.